Machine shop work includes bench work. Reaming with taper hand reamers is important, for tapered pins of various sizes are often used when assembling parts of machines which may later have to be torn down. Reaming the holes for the smaller sizes of these pins is an important part of bench work. The blueprint guides the workman. A taper pin is to fit in a taper hole reamed through a collar and shaft. The size of the taper pin required is given, a number six. The workman knows that a number six taper reamer is called for. Small taper pins and the corresponding taper reamers come in sizes numbered from aught to 13. The rate of taper is one quarter inch per foot. The number which indicates the size of the reamer is always stamped on the shank. This job calls for a number six reamer. The workman must make sure he has the right pin for the job. Comparing pin and reamer is one way to do this. Taper reamers, like straight reamers, are made with straight flutes as well as spiral flutes either may be used. Here, a straight fluted reamer is used. The hole has been drilled through both collar and shaft. The shaft must be held solidly in the vise with the hole in the shaft vertical. The hole in the collar must be aligned with the hole in the shaft. Make certain that the larger hole in each case is on the upper side. Where reamed holes such as this are fairly large, it is good practice to drill the hole the size of the smallest part of the taper pin. Then halfway with a drill that is the size of the taper pin at the middle. This saves removing all the metal by hand reaming and guides the taper reamer so it will ream a straight tapered hole. This animation shows how easily a taper reamer may be started at an angle in a single sized hole. If the reamer is not started straight, the hole will not be cut true and the pin will not fit the hole. Taper reamers must always be started absolutely straight with the hole. This is checked by sighting from two positions 90 degrees apart. The reamer is not straight. It must be straightened 
and a turn taken clockwise. A second check for straightness shows the reamer is straight in the hole and square with the work. Certain that the reamer is straight, the workman proceeds with the reaming. All reamers must be turned clockwise with a smooth, even motion and a slightly downward pressure. When reaming steel, lard oil or mineral lard oil is used to lubricate the cutters of the reamer as the reaming proceeds. A reamer is really a series of scrapers. Each blade removes a slight chip. It must be properly ground with a proper angle of clearance for the particular metal being reamed. The reaming proceeds until the tip of the reamer shows at the bottom of the hole. Notice that in withdrawing the reamer, he turns it clockwise as he pulls it upwards. All chips must be cleaned from the hole. The size of the hole is checked with a taper pin. The pin projects too high above the surface and the hole is under size. Three or four more turns of the reamer are made. This time, the pin projects only slightly above the surface. It can now be driven home with a hammer for a tight fit. The pin is flush with the surface at both ends, and the collar is fastened solidly to the shaft by a tapered pin driven in a tapered reamed hole. Here is a case where taper pins are used as dowels to hold the halves of a split bearing in perfect alignment. The blueprint shows the size of the dowel pins and their location in both sides of the split bearing. A taper pin size 4 is indicated. The bearing cap must be lined up with the shaft and clamped firmly in place before reaming the hole. The bolts are first pulled down lightly and the shaft tried. The shaft does not turn. The bearings are not in alignment. The cap is tapped one way and then another until the shaft turns freely. Then the bolts are tightened firmly in place. 
If the shaft binds slightly after this tightening, a few taps in the right place will free the shaft. Now the holes for the taper pins may be reamed. The blueprint called for a number four taper pin. Make sure you have the correct size of reamer before proceeding with the work. Place the reamer carefully in the hole. Turn it slightly until it feels firm in the hole. Then stop and sight from two directions 90 degrees apart to be sure the reamer is straight. Proceed with the reaming, turning the reamer in a clockwise direction. When the tip of the reamer comes through, it is time to try the pin in the hole. The pin does not go down to require depth, and the reaming continues. When reaming cast iron, no lubrication is needed. When the head of the pin projects about 3 16 above the surface, the hole is to size and the pin can be driven in until it is seated firmly. It must not be driven in hard. The other pin hole will now be reamed in the same manner. After the second pin hole has been reamed, both pins are driven flush with the surface of the cap. For convenience, the dowel pins should come away with the cap. Therefore, the taper holes in the bottom half should be slightly relieved. Fitting taper pins is a delicate operation requiring skill that comes with experience. The successful workman always works to the drawing, selects the correct size of reamer, makes sure the reamer is straight, remembers to use the oil can when necessary, does not crowd the reamer, turns it clockwise, and knows when to stop reaming. Always make sure the pin fits the hole. Because every successful workman makes certain that each step of the job is right and takes pride in a job well done.